So this time I sprayed more with the Dawn and water. And I can actually still move this, even though there's no bubbles left, I can still move this. And then when it dries, of course, it'll stop. But I'm see how I can squeegee out more of the liquid that's underneath. You get out as much liquid as you can. But the other thing I did different on this side that I didn't do on this side is we did not cut. We didn't use extra and then and then cut the edge. So this one was not cut with a blade. It's just as it came, we unrolled it and stuck it up here and then lined up the edges and it worked a lot better. Okay, so now I'm down to the bottom. So I'm using this uh, paint scraper, whatever this is, and squeezing all the liquid out the bottom. And because we didn't do the excess overlay on the side and the top, then we'll only have to make one cut and it's much cleaner. So as you can see on this side, this window, the edges are a lot cleaner than the edge where we did the overlay and had to cut it. the fourth panel and it was by far the easiest so we did have to cut it to fit the last section remaining so I I put the side that I cut is the little bit of overlay here in the middle but with the first three we peeled off the backing and only did a little bit at a time and squeegeed, you know, with each um, pull of the backing film. With this fourth panel, we removed the backing from the whole thing, sprayed the whole thing with Dawn and Water, sprayed the window with the Dawn and Water mix, laid it up there, and it was by far the easiest one of all three panels. And this window definitely looks the best. of the two sets. Overall, very easy application.